All right, here's the last type of poem that we're going to learn. It's called an acrostic poem. The reason it's called an acrostic poem is because the words will go across um, of a word that goes down. And I'll show you an example in a moment. But just try to remember that when you hear acrostic poem, um, all the words will go across from a letter. And you'll see that. Um, I would like to see... Um, the students use phrases or sentences rather than single words, uh, if possible, and not to repeat words. Um, so I'm going to give you an example of an acrostic poem, and I'm going to show you one that is more simplistic, and I'll show you one that's a little more um, complex or challenging. So I'd like you to do more of those more complex ones if you can. So say the word was snow. So what we do with capitals is we put the word down. Okay, so we've got the word snow. Now what we do is we write things about snow going across, hence the acrostic poem. All right, so this is what a, a lot of um, kids do when they first learn to do these. Snow, right? Snow, snow. So I don't want that repeating kind of thing. Night and single words. Ouch. Because snow, snow could hurt. And last one, winter. Okay, that'd be a good way to start out, right? Um, but I would like you to challenge yourself a little more and do something a little more um, difficult. So I've uh, created one. It's a little more challenging. Um, so here we go. Smell of winter. Nipping at my nose. or the taste of a snowflake when it falls from the sky. From the sky. There we go. All right, so this one is a little more detailed and it gives you more of a, a better idea of what is happening in the snow, whereas this is very, you know, just tells you some things about snow, sort of, right? So this is what I mean by using phrases or sentences. Now you'll notice I used, this is almost like one sentence, smell of winter nipping at my nose. So you can space it out on two lines. You don't have to do it all the way across, right? And then this way you can use those letters for different words like you use for or. It doesn't have to relate to snow as long as the whole thing relates to snow. So this is what I would like to see uh, from the students. Um, and because Star Wars Day, I'll just quickly show you a Jedi one that I did. So there's the word Jedi, and they just created one quickly. Journey to Endor to destroy the... Imperial base. And for the Star Wars fans out there, this would be uh, Star Wars Episode Six, um, Return of the Jedi, where this sort of does happen and the Jedi is involved. So um, I'm going to get you to practice some acrostics. Okay, you can choose whatever words you want. Um, don't make them too long makes it more difficult so i would say you know smallest make it three three letters you can do your names some people do like doing their names um three letters four letters five letters don't go crazy with like 10 letters or something because it makes it very challenging and again try to avoid this type and more so like this where you have a little more details and more going on in your poem there all right give it a shot